people feel that you must be born with the gift of cooking to excel at it. But that isn't so. Educating yourself and immersing yourself in the subject of cooking can become something that you get better at. This article can help you to develop your skills and add to your confidence in cooking. Make sure that when you are making your pasta, do not use oil in the water upon cooking. This will reduce the risk that the pasta will stick to the sauce, which can ruin the quality of your meal. Avoid oil and water when you are cooking pasta for maximum results. Keep a potato masher in your kitchen at all times. This useful device can be used to mash more than just your typical potatoes. Try mashing carrots, cauliflower, and other root vegetables. You can mix any of these into your usual mashed potatoes to make them more vibrant, nutritious, and interesting. To reduce the fat and calories in a recipe that calls for a lot of mayonnaise, simply replace half the mayonnaise with sour cream. Since mayonnaise serves primarily a textural purpose in many of these recipes, replacing it with similarly textured sour cream gives you the same texture with a lighter, healthier taste. Frozen vegetables should only be used as a last resort in home cooking. Though they are cheap and usually available year-round, they fall far short of fresh vegetables in several important areas. Frozen vegetables have lost some of their healthy vitamins and nutrients. They often have unhealthy food additives. They also tend to taste worse than their fresh counterparts. Wash your mushrooms off with a damp cloth. Don't put them under running water to clean them. Mushrooms are like little sponges and running them under the tap will cause them to absorb too much water. This can affect their taste and your cooking time as well. Always continue to taste test all of your food as you cook them. Cooking a sauce, and you're not sure if it needs more salt? Just taste it and you'll know right away. Getting into a habit of testing all of your foods will keep you from accidentally overspicing or underspicing it. One important tip to remember when cooking dishes focuses on the size of the dish being prepared. The smaller the dish is that you are cooking, the higher the baking temperature and less time needed to cook the dish. Smaller dishes generally take only a few minutes at high temperatures to fully cook. True butter should be used when cooking. Butter is typically not purchased by the average consumer because of its cost. It is well worth the investment because it is not filled with unhealthy oils or trans fats. You can buy the butter in bulk when it is on sale and freeze it in your freezer. When attempting to make baked goods, less fattening, applesauce is a great ingredient to use. It can be used with cake mix, brownies or even pancakes. It is an inexpensive way to make foods that are usually fattening, healthier and delicious. When baking, it is a good idea to use unsweetened applesauce. Here is an important tip to use when sautéing foods in a pan with oil. If you need to add more oil to the pan in the middle of sautéing, simply pour the oil as a stream along the edge of the pan. You should do this rather than pouring in the center of the pan so that the oil will heat up as it travels from the edge to the center. Use this tip when cooking chicken. Rather than using a roasting rack to cook the chicken, slice an onion and put the slices in an oiled pan. Then take the chicken and place it on top of the onions. While cooking, the onions will absorb the juices of the chicken. This is useful for later when you make a sauce from the onions by pouring water or stock into the pan and cooking on high heat for 3 minutes. Use your hands to cook the perfect steak. Pressing the fleshy pad at the base of the thumb, when your hand is making an OK sign, will give the same resistance as steak will during cooking. Start with the index finger OK sign and the thumb base will resist at rare temperature. Moving towards the pinky you will register medium rare with middle, medium with the ring finger, and well done with the pinky. Look for the resistance in your steak to match the resistance when pressing your hand. 
to sear a ribeye, T-bone, strip, or another steak to perfection even when you can't fire up the outdoor grill, flip a cast iron skillet over and broil the steak in your oven. Heat the skillet in a hot oven prior to placing the steak on its surface, and cook to your preferred level of doneness. While cooking is fun, generally, the cleaning up that follows is not. To avoid having to deal with a big mess after a day of experimenting or meal preparation in the kitchen, keep your sink filled with hot soapy water, refreshing when necessary, and clean up as you go along. Besides keeping your end-of-day cleaning down to a minimum, you will also have clean hands as you touch and prepare food throughout the day. When it comes to cooking, consider making a smoothie for your meal. When made properly, this may contain all of the nutrients that you need for a meal. This is a quick way to get everything that you need in a full meal. Be sure to stay away from ingredients high in sugar. It has already been said that you don't have to be born with the gift of cooking. It is something that you can educate yourself about and learn to enjoy as you go along. Hopefully this article has added to your knowledge and has enhanced your ultimate enjoyment of cooking.